welcome. Thank you, Kate. And congratulations. I think that's probably the first thing to say to you. Thanks, yes. This is one competition I've been really looking forward to. Um, it's the pinnacle, really, of the judging agility calendar. So, yeah, I just want everyone to Well, now we look ahead to the agility <laughs> championships. First thing this morning, we had the jumping and the agility earlier this uh, afternoon, and we combined the result to produce a terrific climax that we're about to enjoy. The intermediate uh, dogs will go first. We have 11 of them, and they will run in reverse order, and that should mean uh, that the best will come towards the end. And um, Graham, overall impressions about what we might be about to see. Uh, tremendous standard of dog agility. We have the best of the best here competing uh, at the uh, final night of Crufts. This is the we're going to see the intermediate and large championships. Uh, we saw the small and medium on Thursday. Uh, we're not able to put all four championships on one night, so next year we will be seeing the intermediate and large on the Thursday and the small and medium on the Sunday just to keep things fair and up to date. But it promises to be absolutely fantastic. We've got 11 dogs in the intermediate, which we're about to see first. Uh, and any one of them uh, is capable of winning this, and they start, Jim, with a clean sheet. Absolutely, and two totally separate competitions as well. It's worth stressing. Yes, we do. Intermediate is one championship, and the large is a separate championship. The arena just about, uh, f just about full. Yes, and do. the uh, standard the that we have seen of the agility the have to be exceptional to get, get into Crufts. And uh, what we have seen has level. been absolutely uh, outstanding. Uh, and I'm sure the best the might space. well be uh, so yeah, to come it's, it's, as well it's, it's, it's in, it's in this agility uh, championship final. Most these handlers are professional, they're full time doing their dog agility. So really, the dogs are right at the pinnacle, top end of the sport. And I think. I think that's fair to say we've seen some pretty amazing runs oh, even yes. this week, haven't we? We have. We've seen some great agility. Uh, this obviously is the championship class, and so this is very top of the, the top of the tree. Uh, but we've seen right the way down through our novice dogs, all our ABCs. That's Martin Cavill. Uh, so it's been a great demonstration. Excellent the judge. Dogs, the, the and this course, by the uh, way, the longest levels, that we uh, have seen really in Crufts uh, this week, and take. we'll get to Graham's expert eyes on it in just a few minutes' time. Well, we're all set here then for the um, Agility Championship final. Jumping this morning and then the Agility earlier on this afternoon, the numbers combined to produce a terrific climax. The intermediate dogs will go first, 11 of them followed by the large dogs. They will go in reverse order, so that should mean that the cream will rise towards the end of the competition. Two totally separate competitions as well. And a course that you're seeing, we will uh, dissect that with Graham Partridge in a little while. But to the man talking out there in the arena, Martin Cavill, has set this course. It is the longest course that we have seen at Crofts all week. He wants to make them run, he said to me. And uh, it's, it's, uh, he's very excited by his work, isn't he, Graham, by what he's done. Yep, top, one of the top judges in the country, judging the European Championships later on this year. Uh, 197 metres this course in total. First of 11 intermediate dogs then. Emma Piri and Carl Luke from Lanarkshire. Zuri won the Intermediate Scottish Agility Dog of the Year final uh, this year. Absolutely delighted to be joined by Ashley Butler. You get your breath, Ashley, in a moment, and we will come to you very, very shortly uh, after we've had a look at Zuri and Emma. Go on, Graham. Yep, they're going to push around the back of that irons there up and over the A-frame. This is a lovely course here. There is quite a bit in it, but this is the best of the best, so you would expect the judge to be challenging them. Again, right the way around the back of that, through that tyre, into the weaving poles, must go to the right of the first pole. They're off that, and they're up over the dog walk. Don't mark the ups anymore, but we do mark the downs, and they've missed that. Into the tunnel, this is another now, shaping up for the very quick part of the course. Tunnel and finish. 
So, but that's a really great effort. Setting a star there, 38.339 and five faults. Over that uh, Skoda jump to finish, just a shame that uh, Zuri missed the white contact point at the end of the dog walk. This is Gamble and Stephen Richardson. Last year's winner, bronze at the Team World Championships. Um, go on, Ashley, give us your thoughts on this combination. Now you're breathing easily. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Yes, uh, Stephen and Gamble, unfortunately, picking up a five fault early on in the course. I think knowing Stephen, he will still push to get as fast as time he can possibly get. He did have a fault in his dog walk this morning as well, so um, he'll be hoping to uh, make sure he doesn't repeat that. And Stephen very, very close to Gamble. A reminder, if the hand that touches the dog, that is an elimination. But uh, the round continues. It is the longest course that we have had. Through that tunnel at the far end of the course. And the fine, uh, final jump over the Skoda jump. It is, unfortunately, uh, having a jump down there uh, to win this competition and, or to be awarded the championship certificate, you need a clear round. So he will not be awarded that, although he can still win the competition. Beautiful looking dog, Otto, five year old border collie, Michelle Wall, the handler from Gloucestershire. Loves a bit of walking around the forest of Dean, this one. Over the U move right in front of us. On you go, Ashley. This partnership. Well, unfortunately, picking up a five faults on their seesaw, but this partnership in the last couple of months have really blossomed. Um, they actually won their way onto Team GB uh, a few weeks ago, so they will be representing Great Britain and unfortunately picking up an elimination. But Otto doesn't know, he's still having the best time out there. And good contact as well at the bottom of the dog walk. The round continues, and Otto probably producing his best work towards the end of the round as well. Flying finish from Otto and from Michel. Unfortunately, picking up an elimination there, and that was the first fault. The seesaw must be touching the ground before the dog gets off, and you could clearly see that it didn't, and that's purely for safety reasons, Jim. Here's a fellow that knows everything about the world of agility, Greg Derrett. Agility Team GB manager and vice six-year-old border collie. Keen to do well as well. Quickly over the long jump and the U move right in front of us through the first tunnel. Seesaw, that's good contact at the end. Round the IAMs, up and down over the A-frame. Tight technical part of the course there, but no problem for Vice at the moment. Excellent handling too, through the tyre. This is as good as we have seen so far this evening. Brilliant work through the weaves from Vice. Properly good. Was there contact at the end of the dog walk? Indeed there was. A frame, very, very good. And a good time as well, but sadly an elimination right there. Looking so promising, weren't they? They were, and actually, uh, talking to Greg earlier on in the day, he knew that that was a training weakness for him, so he knew it would be a bit of a risk coming off that dog walk and into that turn into that tunnel. So he knew that was a possibility, and unfortunately, it was an elimination. Amanda Hampson and Fun, seven-year-old, talk us around the course this time, would you, Graham? Take us around the whole thing. OK, as I said, it's, it's quite a challenging course, actually. Um, say 197 metres, there's no limit on the look course lengths that you have. So over the long jump, now it's a sharp left turn into the tunnel, onto the seesaw. This is where we ask the dogs to control themselves and just stop before the end. Up and over the A-frame, we're only marking the down on the A-frames now. Turn, a little slalom there, into the tunnel. Handler layering the jump there, into that tyre. They must go to the right, these first weaving poles, in and out, and they must be completed correctly. Now we're onto the dog walk. Again, we're only marking the downs. Very nicely hit there, Amanda. Amanda's a very experienced handler, making this look very easy just at the moment. Holding her ground. Come on, Amanda, push on. That's tremendous work then from Amanda Hansen and Fun, and the best we've seen so far. That was brilliant, Amanda, knowing exactly what to do there. And it wasn't a border collie, which I find really, really exciting and just goes to show any dog can do agility. Any dog, including Digit. Jodie Bruto. This one will bark her way around the whole course, we are promised. And looks as though Digit will have lunged. Tight left hand of that one over the irons. Good contact, bottom of the A-frame. 
right in front of us. We can see the pace and the control and the connection that Jody has with Digit. Those poles have called trouble early in the day. Not to this combination, though. That's a fine leap as well. Over the good boy jump. Round we go. And a good flying finish. Well, this is excellent. 35.3. 35.3, two seconds better than anything we've seen so far, Graham. Absolutely brilliant. I've got a feeling, and Ash, you'll confirm this, I think this is Jody's first time here in the main arena, um, and they've done fantastically well. First place, look at that. Natasha Wise ready to go. And this could be emotional. Pebbles, 11-year-old, such a popular dog. And this could well be the last agility run for her. Go on. Yeah, Natasha and Pebbles have had an absolutely incredible career together. They've won many championship tickets, won Crofts singles competition and championships here, as well as medals abroad. And they are going clear so far, finding that weave entry, no problem at all. Excellent, up through those weaves. This is going to be emotional no matter what happens at the end. Good contact at the end of the dog walk too. Good through the tunnel from Natasha and for the brilliantly popular Pebbles. Oh, brilliant stuff, Pebbles. Well done. What a way to go. Second place for Pebbles and Natasha. We should probably stay with this combination for just a moment. It's going to be emotional, Graham. It is, but 11 years of age, uh, she's made the decision that the, she's going to take the... Uh, take the dog out of top-class competition. I'm sure she might have a few rails runs with a week on week. Look at that. Puts 110% into that run. Kikada and Marita Ogilvy off and running. Second time at cross for Kikada, the three-year-old border collie. Yes, this is one of my favourites to win this competition, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> for them. And they are halfway round and they are keeping it together. Into those weaves. This is only a young dog, um, but they have already achieved so much together. Can they hit the bottom of that contact? Yes, they can. Into that tunnel, and this is the exciting part that gives me goosebumps every time. That straight line finish onto that last jump. Well, 34.3 for Cicada and Marita. As you say, that's number one at the moment. Into the lead, and the, this dog is only three years of age, so. You can't start competing with your dog until they're 18 months of age, so she's gone from grade two to grade seven, and then got the required number of wins in grade seven to enter the champ. Brilliant. It's coming to the boil now. Sarah Kitchen and seven, second in the agility, second in the jumping. And a flying start as well. Time to beat 34.3 and clear. Fultz going over the seesaw. Tight one over the IAMs. Yes, and that's what happens when you come to finals like this. You want to push. And especially when somebody in front of you has just put in a blinding run like Marita did, you want to push for every split second you can, and that's where the faults happen. Ten faults it is now. OK, uh, over the dog walk. Rattling through the tunnel. It's going to be really quick. Shame about those faults, 34.8. Very nice. You can see she's communicating with the dog off the end of the seesaw there. Very, very nice round. Nara Cuddy, penultimate intermediate dog. And Banana, her young dog. First in the jumping, third in the agility. 34.3 to beat to win this prize. Quickly over the human. Yeah, I think she's going to have to push here. Her and Marita are pretty much similar in times. So we're looking for nice, tight turns. She opted to go for the wrap there, whereas Marita sliced the jump, and that could be the deciding factor between first and second. We'll see. Oh, that's missing that, uh, that contact point at the end of the dog walk. That could be costly as well. Such a quick dog, beautiful style. Over that shoulder, that final jump. 33.8, top five. And there we are, definite miss on the end of dog walk, but that's what pressure does to you. They knew that they had to really push it, go to the max to beat Marita. 
Last intermediate dog, Lee Gibson, star, eight-year-old. Runners up last year, winner of the agility a couple of hours ago. Third in the jumping this morning, having to beat 34.3 to claim the big intermediate prize here at Crufts 2024. Off they go, and they keep a close eye on the clock as well. Helping over the U-move. The Seesaw is great as well. The IAMs, a tight left-hander, up and down over the A-frame, good contact over that. Now this little technical piece there in the middle of the course, it's all good. Lee right on top, the dog knows exactly where to go to star. Sensational going through those weaves, up at the top end of the course. Will he make the contact? He will make the contact indeed. The time is really good, it's right up there, the time, right up there. Twisting round towards the finale, 32, 33, 34.1, he's done it. He's done it, 34.1, plays 34.3, that is close. What a climax that was, that just kept betting better and better and better. Can't tell you how pleased I am for Lee and Eurostar. There we are then, Lee Gibson, 34.1, Marita Ogilvy, 34.3. The difference between first and second.